So there are many different ways that atoms can pack together and many different patterns. And we're only going to talk about a few of these patterns. Um, they'll be face center cubic, body center cubic, simple cubic, and hexagonal close packed. But there are many different ways that atoms, atoms can fit together. And one of the main ways that metals specifically can fit together is called close packing. So close packing is exactly what it sounds like. If we have the same atoms we were talking about before, and we have, let's say, the nucleus of one atom, and we have the electron cloud of that atom, let's say it's aluminum from what we discussed um, in previous lectures. If we looked at a neighboring atom, at an atom that it wanted to be next to, the electron clouds would be butted up right against each other. And therefore, these atoms are close packed in this direction. So close packing is when the atoms are essentially touching, and we can think of them as packing as hard spheres. Think of marbles filling a box. That would be the model that we would use to describe these metal atoms sticking together. So if we have the atoms like we were talking about before, and we started, you know, we shrunk these down and, and started looking at how they stacked with each other, we'd see a pattern kind of like this. So these are atoms, the outsides of the atoms, and they're, they're touching. And then to fit atoms as closely together as possible or close pack them into a plane and not just a line, we'd put atoms right here. So what I'm drawing right now is a plane of atoms that are as packed as closely as you can pack circles. And if you take this into three dimensions, it will be the closest way you can pack spheres. So this close packing leads to two types of crystal structure, two types of unit cell. And one of them is called face-centered cubic. And you can guess what shape that is. It's going to be a cube. And the other one is called hexagonal close packed. Close packed. And so the basic shape of the unit cell for face center cubic is going to be a cube. whereas the basic shape of hexagonal close packed is going to be a hexagon or hexagonal prism. For hexagonal close packed, which we write HCP in shorthand, we will have a certain three-dimensional stacking of these close packed planes. So if I have a close packed plane, it looks like this. I'll call this plane the starting plane A. And if I stack another plane on top, it's not going to fit right above that A. That those the um, the atoms of that plane above are going to want to fit in between the atoms of the plane below. And so the next set of atoms will sit in between kind of these holes of the atoms below. So the next layer will look something like this. And this layer we call B because it doesn't have the same order as the one below. Now, if we go one step further on the next level, we will see that the A 
plane is repeated, meaning that the atoms on the third level also have the same sequence or pattern as the A plane below. And if we were to draw that on the HCP unit cell, what we'd see is that the atoms on the lowest plane would look like this. They would sit here, and this would be plane A. The atoms on the next plane would sit somewhere here, and this would be plane B. And then the atoms on the top plane would sit and look very similar to that first A plane. So we also call it A. So we have an A, B, A, B, A, B stacking sequence of close packed planes. On the, on the other hand, for face center cubic, FCC for short, we have an A, B, C stacking sequence. Now I'm going to draw it slightly differently, but you'll see why in a moment. So in this case, if we have a plane of atoms, an A plane, and then we put a B plane of atoms on top, they'll want to sit again in these kind of little holes between the A atoms. So they'll sit here, here, and here. Then the C atoms will sit in a place where A atoms and B atoms have not been. And so a C atom would sit right here. So the way these atoms stack is different than HCP. And the C atoms will be in this corner. The B atoms will be in this corner, this corner, and this corner, as well as the faces of this top face, this front face, and this right side face. And the three atoms, one, two, three, are these atoms, one, two, and three. Now the A plane, which is below the B plane, will have an atom here, here, and here, as well as an atom in the face of this left side, an atom in the face of this bottom side, and an atom in the face of the back side. Now we need to complete the unit cell, and the way to complete that is with another C atom at the opposite corner. So this is the C plane, this is the B plane, and this is the A plane. So you can see the A plane goes like this. That's the close packed A plane. The B plane goes like this. And the C plane will be on top of that. So you notice that the ABC pattern goes between the opposite corners of the face center cubic unit cell.